Hi students, welcome to Bosco Campus Vision. I am Marina Michael, Assistant Professor, PG Department of Commerce, Don Bosco College, Kottiyam. I am dealing with the paper International Financial Management for MCOM S3 students. Dear students, this is the 18th lecture of International Financial Management. In this session, we are going to discuss an important topic that is balance of payment. A country has to deal with other countries in respect of the following items. First one, visible items. Second one, invisible items. Third one, capital transfers. Then, what do you mean by visible items, invisible items and capital transfers? Visible items include all types of physical goods exported and imported. All type of physical goods exported and imported include under the visible items. Second one, invisible items. It includes all those services whose export and import are not visible. Are not visible. Example, transport services, medical services, etc. Third one, capital transfers, which are concerned with the capital receipts and capital payment. Capital transfers, fund transfers, that is receipts and capital receipts and capital payment. Let's start with balance of payment. Balance of payment of a country is a summarized record of the different types of economic transactions that occur during a specific period, usually an accounting year between the residents of a country and the rest of the world. It is a summarized statement. It includes all the types of economic transactions during a particular period, usually an accounting year, between the residents of a country and the rest of the world. It is a summary of the international transactions of a country and is designed to show the country's balance of international payments or the difference between the international receipts and payments of a country. It is a summary of all the international transactions of a country and designed to show the country's balance of international payments or the difference between international receipts and payments of the country. It is a double entry system of record of all economic transactions between the residents of a country and the rest of the world carried out in a specific period of time. That is usually an accounting year. Then, when we see a country's balance of payments, we are referring to the transactions of its citizens and the government. Then, the balance of payment account is prepared on the basis of Double entry system of accounting where transactions have to be classified as debit or credit transactions. Okay, then it is a system of record all the economic transactions under double entry system. Next. Features of balance of payment. Features of balance of payment. It is a systematic record of all economic transactions between one country and the rest of the world. It includes all transactions visible as well as invisible. It relates to a period of time. Generally, it is an annual statement. It adopts a double entry bookkeeping system. It has two sides, debit and credit side. Receipts are recorded on the credit side and the payments on the debit side. That's why it is called a double entry system of bookkeeping. Thank you and God bless you.